Like any sport, football has a number of statistics that are tracked in order to compare one player to the next. Because the nature of the offensive positions like quarterback and running back are so different, each position has its own set of statistics. So let's take a look at some of the most common you'll hear talked about on the offensive side. We'll start with the running backs. The simplest stat for rushers is carries, which is simply the number of plays in which they receive the handoff or carry the ball. Another common stat would be the number of rushing yards a player has. A key element to remember from this stat, which will also hold true for a few others we'll see in a moment, is that the number of yards starts at the line of scrimmage. So even if the running back receives the handoff five yards behind the line of scrimmage and runs forward 10 yards, it will technically have been a five yard run. That is the five yards from the line of scrimmage forward. Something else to note here is that if a running back is to receive a handoff and then is tackled behind the line of scrimmage, he will be credited with negative rushing yards. A third stat for running backs is the yards per carry, which is simply the number of rushing yards divided by the number of carries. Two halfbacks may have the same amount of rushing yards, but the player who did it in half of the rushing attempts, or half the number of carries, is obviously more impressive. Let's move on to receivers, who will be catching the ball rather than having it handed to them. Even still, their stats are actually pretty similar to running back stats. The receiver's equivalent to the number of carries is the reception which is a simple count of the number of times they have caught a pass. Receiving yards are the ground gained from those passes, although like rushing yards, the count is made from the line of scrimmage to the spot where the receiver is tackled. Even if the quarterback drops back 10 yards behind the line of scrimmage, that distance in the backfield is not counted. You may also see a stat called yards after catch, which is some indication of how good a receiver is at evading defensive players. For example, our first receiver could run forward 10 yards, turn around, catch the ball, and then get tackled on the spot. Our second receiver might run forward 5 yards, make the catch, run forward 5 more yards, and then be tackled. Both of these plays resulted in 10 receiving yards, but the first receiver had 0 yards after the catch, while the second guy had 5 yards after the catch. Again, this tells us a little bit about how good the receiver is at avoiding being tackled, but as we saw here, the route and the defensive positioning also factor in. You might also hear someone reference yards per reception, which is kind of like yards per carry. It's simply the number of receiving yards divided by the number of receptions. The third offensive position we'll look at is the quarterback, who probably has the most stats connected to him. To start simple, we have pass attempts, which is self-descriptive, just the number of times the passer has thrown the ball. Next, we have passes completed, which are the number of pass attempts that have been caught by a receiver. Passing yards are similar to receiving and rushing yards. Again, the yards are not counted until the line of scrimmage, but all yards after the catch are included in passing yards as well. You will likely see a ratio of touchdown passes to interceptions thrown pop up at some point. Touchdown passes, of course, being the number of passes that resulted in a touchdown, and interceptions being pass attempts that were caught by the defense. Yards per completion can be difficult to compare from one quarterback to the next because some teams will emphasize many short passes rather than rushing plays and fewer but longer passes, but you kind of get the idea. Finally, a negative aspect of being the quarterback is that you will be holding the ball so much and therefore you will be chased by a lot of guys who are trying to tackle you. If these defenders are successful and tackle the quarterback behind the line of scrimmage, it will count as a sack, both for the quarterback and the defensive team. If a quarterback is able to slip away from the defenders, however, he can run the ball himself and pick up some rushing yards of his own.